Now let me tell you about something I call the M-Myth. You're probably familiar with this book, The E-Myth by Michael E. Gerber. One of the best-selling business books of the last 20 years, something like that. Gerber has a lot to say that I agree with, but there's uh, certain areas where he and I part company. One thing I really like, I like the uh, subtitle, Why Most Small Businesses Don't Work and What to Do About It. Well, I definitely agree with Gerber that most small businesses don't work, but where we disagree is what to do about it. Let's start out talking about what Gerber has to say. I'm, I'm actually reading the book for the second or third time right now as an audiobook on audible.com. He says that most small business owners, small and medium-sized business owners, are not true entrepreneurs. An entrepreneur is someone who runs a business. Uh, they could run any kind of business. They could run multiple businesses. They could be what's called a serial entrepreneur, which goes from business to business to business one after the next because what they understand and what they are expert at is running a business, not the nuts and bolts of the business. Whereas most people who go into business are what Gerber describes as a technician. This would be an auto mechanic who decides to start his own uh, repair shop. A hairdresser decides to open a hair salon and from my uh, background a, a press operator decides to open a print shop and so on and so forth. Unfortunately, it's an entirely different thing to run an auto shop than it is to repair an automobile. And the fact that you're an expert at repairing automobiles has almost no bearing on your ability to run an auto shop. In fact, as Gerber would say, it might actually be a disadvantage to you because as a technician, as a technically oriented person, and as someone who is expert at the technical aspects of the business, that's what you're going to focus on. You're going to focus on producing the widgets or baking the pies or cutting the hair or whatever it is that you do, and you will actively ignore or avoid all other entrepreneurial tasks. So far, Gerber and I are just like this. Gerber talks about three different personalities that coexist within each of our minds, the technician, the manager, and the entrepreneur, and kind of reminds me of uh, Freud's id, ego, and superego. It's starting to get a little too existential for me. But uh, no, I agree, you know, so far I agree with all that. But what I would say is the, the personality that's missing from that is the top producing salesman. Where's the master marketer? In, in my world, that is the person who needs to step up to the front of the line and take over and start making things happen. Gerber spends a lot of time talking about, you know, you need to change your perspective. You got to do this. I, you know, I'm a person of action. I believe much more in living your way into a new way of thinking rather than trying to think your way into a new way of living. That's why I created Free Enterprise University. You can find it at freeenterpriseuniversity.com. I have identified six sides of small business success, and that's why I use the logo of a cube. Um, there are six different things that you need to become proficient at as a small business owner, and I won't go into the rest of them now. But the most important one is marketing. You have got to learn how to market your product or service. Now, I will not say that it's not important to have a great product or a great service. It really is important, especially in today's competitive marketplace. But I can give you example after example after example of products that you are familiar with where the best product didn't win, the best marketing won. So if your objective is to create a great business that's going to provide for you and your family and maybe create an asset that you can sell further down the line, it is more important for you to focus on the marketing than it is on the production. So what is the M myth? Well, first off, the M myth is anybody who thinks or, or the thought that marketing is not the most important success factor in a small business. I mean, I, I don't want to argue about it. It just is the most important success factor in any small business. Another part of that myth is that if you build a better mousetrap, the world will beat a path to your door. You build it, they will come. This is absolutely incorrect. If people don't know about your product, if they don't know the value of the product, if they don't know where to buy the product, they don't know how much it costs, they don't know how to use it, they, just all the things that people expect to know about a product today, they will not purchase it. You're also in an extremely competitive marketplace today. You've got to get your message to rise above the din. 
build it and they will come, never happen. The final myth is the anytime I hear a business owner say, well, I can hire somebody to do marketing for me. I don't need to learn about that stuff. That's absolutely incorrect. You might be able to hire somebody who can market for you, or at least who tells you they can market for you. But if you don't have the overarching vision and strategic knowledge of marketing and how it works, you're not going to know where to find that person. You're not going to know how to recruit them, how to compensate them, how to manage them. And most importantly, you won't know if what they're doing is working. And if it's not working, you don't know what, how, to, how to change it, how to fix it. What I am going to teach you in this course is Small Business Marketing 101. Not Marketing 101 like you would find in a college because almost all of that is related to larger businesses. The way marketing works in smaller businesses is similar, but it's significantly different. Uh, it's almost like uh, quantum physics where the laws of physics change based on the scale, how big or small you're working. Things, a lot of the things that I'm going to talk about, branding and messaging and that kind of stuff would, would work for a larger business. But the actual way that you're going to hang it all together and the way you're going to build a customer factory is specifically designed for small business. And it's based on my experience working with hundreds of small businesses across the country. What you see on the left there, product, price, promotion, place, process, people, is a graphic that represents what somebody is calling the six P's of marketing. Uh, I always heard there were five P's. That's the way I was taught, and that's the way I understand it. Product, price, promotion, place, and packaging. You notice in there that we do hear the word product, but we don't hear production. The Everything that's most important, in my opinion, about the successful operation of your business and growth of your business has to do with how you position your product or service in the marketplace. I will reiterate, it's important that your product or service be good and that it have value. But the value has to be real, but more importantly, it has to be communicated so that your target market can understand it. Let's face it, if nobody's buying your product, it doesn't matter how good it is. You don't have a business. This is Sir Joshua Reynolds, and I'll get to uh, something important he had to say in just a minute, but uh, he's an interesting character. What follows in this course is a lot of information. What does not follow is a get-rich-quick scheme. Now, you certainly can make a lot of money once you learn how marketing works and you become a master marketer. But it isn't some kind of instant faucet that's going to turn on. It's going to, as Sir Joshua Reynolds would say, uh, require the true labor of thought. He was said, uh, Thomas Edison has often attributed this quotation, but it was actually Sir Joshua Reynolds, who was an uh, 18th century British painter, who said, There is no expedient to which a man will not go in order to avoid the true labor of thought. One of the reasons why I think most of the small business owners that I've seen who avoid marketing do so is because it makes them think. They have to think. It makes their head hurt. They don't want to think about it. They don't want to learn something new that they're currently totally ignorant of. It just sounds like too much work. So if you are willing to engage in the true labor of thought, all the information that you need is right here in front of you to grow your business. Learn to master marketing, and you will master not only the future of your business, but your own future as well.